Today we're looking at the top 20 horror movie collectibles that are worth some good money right now. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to look at the top 20 horror movie collectibles that are worth some big money. We're going to look at some of the classic ones as well as some of the newer ones and show you some of the valuable collectibles that are tied in with the movies. <laughs> So now with any movie, horror or otherwise, they usually start with a script or in this case a book by Mary Shelley for Frankenstein or the modern Prometheus. That was the actual title of the book. This is an original one from the 1800s sold for thousands and thousands of dollars. This is not a first edition either. This is a later one. It's a smaller version. Um, it's illustrated as you can see as well. Most of the good classic movies, Frankenstein, Dracula, all of those started with a book of some sort. Value-wise is always there. These sorts of things do show up. Many people aren't aware that a raggedy old copy of a book sitting on a shelf somewhere could carry this kind of value. Scourge of mankind, they shall be found. I hereby summon to this place next week every person within the sound of my voice. Now here's the first U.S. edition. Now this is not the first stated edition. This is the first United States version of Dracula. $4,700 plus dollars. It's not in the greatest condition. No dust jacket, but it is original. It is authentic, and it matches all the needs of the U.S. first edition. Hence the value of this classic one here. Now, most of the classics as well have been redone, reshot, refilmed many, many times. Now, this is the Andy Warhol version on VHS cassette of Frankenstein. This one sold for close to $1,000. Some of these can go for some insane amounts of money. Right now, there's a huge influx of corporate America, Wall Street folks investing in VHS and sealed items. So, these are going for some phenomenal money right now. Now, this is something here that a lot of people may miss. This is the Tomb of Dracula comic book. This is actually issue 10 and it's the first appearance of Blade. Well played by Wesley Snipes in the movie series also. This is the first appearance of the character Blade in general. This can sell for thousands of dollars. These are all high priced. The better the condition the better these will sell at. All tied into the vampire craze, the vampire movies. A newer version of Dracula came out in the 70s. There were many in the 60s. So Dracula has been continuously playing since it originally originally first appeared in the movies. Now actual movie tie-ins that were used to promote the movies back in the day are all worth some decent money. This is Werewolf of London. This is an original lobby card as you can see. 2000 plus dollars on this one. Some of these are extremely rare. There may only be one single copy of some of these still left these days. A lot of these were discarded after the movie played back in the 30s and 40s. Many people didn't assume there would be any value in these promotional, cheaply made advertising items. Action figures and toys are always hot. Now, this is a British version by Lincoln International of the Werewolf. This is basically a Mego knockoff. Many different companies made these. Some of the versions of these are far scarcer than other ones. If this was the U.S. version, it wouldn't be worth anywhere near the $910 this one sold for. The Mummy is another one of those. Many people played the Mummy as well. Boris Karloff is one you will see that are highly collected and usually one of the main ones that is used to portray the Mummy. This is a Radco Christmas ornament of the Mummy. Believe it or not, they make Halloween-oriented Christmas ornaments and they sell extremely well. 330 bucks basically this one sold for now most any tie-in from the original release of a movie even if it's foreign from another country will still sell for potentially some big money and this one sold for several thousand dollars itself this is a 1941 promotional newspaper for the movie 
the Wolfman. A monster more powerful than Godzilla. See, a small California town learn the true meaning of terror. Bananas! Now here is an example of a Boris Karloff specific mummy here. This is one of those Halloween decorations that moves and the whole works. This one sold for some phenomenal money. It's in the box. It's an original. It's a licensed product as well. There's not many licensed products with Boris Karloff's face still in the box like this one here. Now here's a 16 millimeter complete feature film of the mummy ready to go sound in the whole works. You could project this with a modern day projector, watch it on a wall or something these are highly collected it has the reels as you can see as well now you can't talk about the classics without at least touching on the hunchback of notre dame this is a boxed action figure as well all of these sorts especially with the boxes can sell for hundreds if not thousands if it's in excellent condition this one's fairly decent does have some issues as you can see it's still sold for 910 bucks now some of my favorites are some of the tie-in movies some of the comedies that carried the actual classic universal horror monsters like this one here abbott and costello meet frankenstein there's a whole series of these where they meet dracula the wolfman and frankenstein so these are all highly collected this poster here and it's not a full size this is a smaller one sold for five Five grand. Now, one of the biggest modern day age horror slasher films is Friday the 13th. Most items from this movie that are in good condition from the original releases will sell for some phenomenal money. This is actually a one sheet official national screen service poster here, $695. Five or 10 years ago, this poster had been lucky to hit the 100, 125 mark, but all of these horror related movie items are skyrocketing right now. Now, there are a bunch of tie-ins with Friday the 13th. This is from the final chapter. Now, this is a sealed standard VHS tape. Some of the VHS movies you will find are at the end of the run of VHS tapes where DVDs were coming out, and they didn't make many of some of these. This is one of those examples. I've seen this one sell in this price range several times. These are legit sales as well. They do sell like this. Do your eyes dare witness Total Terror! Frankenstein meets the Space Monster! Now here's another tie in a Nintendo video cartridge game in the box as well. This one sold for $1,500 and it is graded. Even a loose cartridge from this game will still sell for some decent money. A couple hundred bucks if it's in excellent condition. Now Halloween's another one of those highly collected horror movie series. Jamie Lee Curtis has reprised the role even it was so popular. Here's a Michael Myers mask. Now there's many different versions of these. The original early releases of these can sell for some buku bucks, a few thousand dollars. There's a Don Post version as well that goes for some good money. There's modern day versions that sell for big bucks also. Now vintage clothing tied to horror movies as well can go for some decent money. Here's a Michael Myers shirt, just a t-shirt from the 1990s, 450 bucks. These are out there. Many people will miss them or just won't assume that there's that kind of value in something like this. You have to check the label to make sure it's a vintage one. They are still cranking out these types of shirts right now. Now, Chucky is another one of those highly sought-after characters. This is basically a replica, a life-size version of Chucky. There's some boxed versions you can find. There's probably, geez, about a dozen different versions of the Chucky figure, some small action figures. Life-size, though, are what you want. The bigger, the more realistic they are, the more they will sell for. And this one has a bunch of bids. 3750 bucks for this Chucky. Hellraiser is another modern day one that's highly collected. Everybody wants this cube. The cube sells for thousands as you can see here. This is a working. It actually moves, rotates, and the whole works. Those are the true ones you really want. There are some ones that do not move that are just display pieces of this exact same cube. Those still can sell for hundreds of dollars also. Here's another 90s shirt for Hellraiser. It sold for just over $400 as well. Vintage is the key on these. This is 30 years plus old right now. 
Now here's one of those oddities that slipped past many people. This is the Scream mask from the Scream movies. This is the original one, the first one that hit the market, Fun World Division. This one sold for almost $3,000. You will find many of these on eBay or on other platforms right now that sold into the thousands as well. This is the one that everybody wants. There's a ton of different versions of this. Most all of them are new. This is the holy grail of Scream masks right here. Now the movie Aliens, kind of one of those that's in between. It's a little older than the modern day horror classics, but it's a little too new for the Universal Studios original horror characters. This one here is the biggest version of the alien action figure that they made. They made it in an extremely small quantity. I do believe this was an order only from say Sears or JC Penney's back in the day. There's not many of these that ever show up in the box. It looks like it's probably about the best condition I have ever seen one of these. Just over $9,000 for this giant alien figure figure here. Now this is an interesting one here from the movie Predator. This is actually a promotional VHS tape that has interviews, advertising material in it, as well as the full length movie. This was sent out to retail distributors and not to the general public. The only way you could get this is if you were in the industry. So this is extremely scarce. It is sealed. It's not graded or anything. This is literally straight off the shelf, sealed, and it sold for $3,550 with quite a few bids. Now, obviously, this is an extremely scarce VHS tape, but they are still out there, as are most all of the items I've shown you in this video. Most horror movie-related items will sell for a premium. There are tons of collectors for most all of these titles out there. Can nothing stop it? Can anything stop it? First, birth of a nation, then, gone with the wind, 2001, a space odyssey, love story, see you next Wednesday, and now, another monster, there is no place to hide, no one is safe from, another monster, another monster, another monster, another monster. Well, there we have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends.